I think my first experience of a mind reader was when I visited a tattoo parlour with my brother-in-law. I was only about eight at the time, and I remember going in there and seeing this tattoo artist. As soon as someone would come in, he would say, a skull on your leg, and the bloke would go, yeah, so he would say, I'll come through. On the way out, I was speaking to my brother-in-law, my brother-in-law said he can just read people's minds. As soon as they walk in, he can look at them and know exactly what part of the body they're gonna have tattooed and what they're gonna have tattooed on it. It was only when I was about 15, I realised that these people were ringing ahead and making appointments. So at two o'clock he went, oh, you must be the tattoo of the pig on the shin or whatever, come through. But I had learned this now useless skill. So I'm gonna try and demonstrate it to you now. So there's over 25 tattoos on there. And what I'm gonna do is I'll, I'll give these a, a little mix up. But I just want you to reach in and, and take any one. Okay, so before I turn my head back round, I want you to secure the image of the part of the body you're going to have tattooed in your mind. Okay. And also just mentally select any one of the tattoos. Is your tattoo, the tattoo you're thinking of, is it shown on here? Yeah. It is. Yeah. So just hold the, uh, hold the, the cards up here. So the first thing I'm going to ask you to do is imagine that a tattoo artist is going to come over and start tattooing the part of your body that you, you're imagining in your mind, yeah? So try and pick up on the sensation around that part of the body. Okay, I can feel something maybe up here on the arm? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah. Um, and also try and visualise now the tattoo you would have. Something quite feminine, I would say more women would have it. Something like a, a bird, a swallow or something? Yeah. Colourful? Yeah. 